Hey, this is Alex from Production Music Live, and today we're looking at Pigments 3, a massive new update to Pigments 2 that is free for existing users. So if you're coming from Pigments 2, the first thing you might notice is we have a new harmonic sound engine. And this sound engine is great for organic bell kind of sounds and string type sounds. In Pigments now we have the ability to do virtual analog synthesis, wavetable synthesis, and there's a whole bunch of new wavetables included in Pigments 3. We've got our sampler slash granular synthesis sound engine and now this harmonic one and I thought the best way to show off what this new harmonic sound engine can do would be to play a few of the brand new presets that are included in pigments 3 that are based on this harmonic sound engine so this first one here is a nice bell like sound based on it and I'm just gonna play through some more to give you a sense of what they sound like Cool, so those are some of the presets that were made from the harmonic sound engine. The other huge update to Pigments 3 is the brand new utility engine here. And let's go to a new preset so I can show it to you. So with the utility engine, you have these two noise makers here. And you have an additional oscillator, which can be routed separately than the other two sound engines. So if you wanted to add a sub bass, for example, into something, you could take it straight to the direct out without even going through your filters if you wanted and you'd have your sub in there you could also make your sub a triangle sawtooth or pulse of course and here is your tuning here's your button to make sure it follows the keys this is our pitch quantization a great feature in pigments and fine tuning and then here if we Go back to our filters, you can change to which filter you want to send this oscillator. And the noise here, this isn't your typical noise. You get all these different types of textures that you can layer on top of your sound. Also, you can either send them out to filter one or filter two, and you can either loop them on top of an existing sound, or you can change it to a just a one hit of the sample and you can tune it you can have it follow the key and you have a handy high pass and low pass filter built on here so this is like a great way to add some extra character to a sound really easily and they've got great like natural sounds you can jungle sound on there one of my favorite things that I've been using in making presets and stuff is the transients here the transients just add like a quick little something on top of a sound and really can change the character like if we go back to the ring my bell 
We turn on the utility here. You know, of course we can add some body with this low oscillator. But what's really great is to add a, a transient on top of here. Like, turn it down a bit. Turn this off. And now you have like a new attack to your sound. And it's simple as just turning on the utility engine and then adding a transient or white noise or whatever. So those are the two huge updates to Pigments 3. There's also tons of new wavetables. We also have a new filter in here, a new analog filter based on the Jupiter 8. which is really great. And there's, of course, tons of new presets. And Production Music Live has teamed up with Arturia and Tim Engelhart to bring you 130 new presets to Pigments here. 30 of them were made exclusively with Pigments 3. The link is in the description. Check it out. There's a template included that is produced by Tim Engelhart. Also, it'll come with a three-month license to Pigments 3. So thank you, Arturia, for hooking us up. And we'll also have a course on Pigments coming up soon. So be sure to keep updated with that. Sign up for the newsletter. And hope you have a great day. Peace. <laughs>